What's up guys and gals and welcome to VV Vibes where I love talking all things VV NFTs, speculation, and of course the market. So I wanted to make a relatively quick video just talking about the new 007 drops that are going to be happening on Sunday, February 20th at both uh, 8 a.m. Pacific time as well as noon specific, uh, Pacific time. So they're going to be four hours apart. You're going to have your typical drop at 8 and the other one at 12. So just kind of be prepared for that. There will be two drops. Um, I wanted to talk about this first one. Obviously, I don't think anyone is uh, ecstatic to have these new 007 uh, NFTs come out. They've already had these quite a few times before. They've all been kind of flops, in my personal opinion. Um, if we look at this first one, uh, there is actually a Medium article out for this first one. So this, like, um, the detailed schematics of the glider, which I'm not even sure that's a big thing. But I think, honestly, Gary from Twitter summed it up perfectly. And uh, blockchain Rick James agreed. It's like finding an unopened Christmas present behind the couch in April, opening it and it socks. I still like socks, but winter is over and I'm starting to wear flip flops anyway. So that's exactly how I feel. It's like we've all kind of like moved on from this 007 thing. We've all seen the Valdos case and a bunch of other uh, NFTs that have been released for the 007 series. Just kind of not necessarily flop, but it's just not things people are necessarily interested in uh, for the most part. Right. So people are kind of making uh, a lot of jokes about it. It is kind of nice to see that James Bond retweeted it and James Bond does have uh, over 680,000 followers. So that's more exposure. People are just kind of saying, meh, I'm kind of under that same sentiment. Uh, I love these gifts that people are <laughs> putting up of people just kind of shaking their head. VV Daily saying the same thing. It's kind of a, uh, a snowflake or it's ice cold compared to uh, four peppers, right? So not too much hype about it. Uh, for the most part, I did want to kind of cover the medium article just very, very briefly, uh, poster set number five. So that just kind of shows you how uh, kind of over it five sets already of just kind of posters. It's available globally. Um, the mint numbers are going to be very, very low, only 6,007 list price, 87 gems. And that is, I mean, I feel like you should still play every drop no matter what. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you do get this, I highly, not financial advice, but I highly, highly, highly suggest you just flip it immediately and just take the profit. Um, but with only 6,000 additions, I mean, that is extremely rare uh, indeed. So I'm going to go for the drop, but if I win it, I'm going to just try and sell it. I wouldn't say immediately, but you know, I, I, I think selling these sooner rather than later um, and just kind of getting it off your hands, just take the profit and go, uh, especially if you're lucky enough to only win, be one of the 6,000. So yeah, that, that's that's kind of my take on it. We already have the glider, and then now we have the schematics of the glider. Like, eh, like, you know, it is what it is. The next one I'm a bit more interested in, and this is for a few different reasons. First off, this is actually, you know, it's a vehicle. It's cool. We're I feel like we're kind we're finally getting a little bit closer uh to the Aston Martin that a lot of people want with like the 007 series, uh, for the most part. But it sounds like the 007s want to focus on like the newer things that they're trying to push. Um, but I and it says uh 007. Finds, finds himself under attack by Spectre, agents in Italy, knocks him, you know, blah, blah, all that stuff, kind of the flavor text. But uh, it says, add the official Triumph Scrambler, uh, 1200 from No Time to Die to your collection when it drops Sunday, the 20th at uh, basically noon Pacific time. So Triumph is a pretty big deal. I was always going to overlook this and be like, this looks terrible, whatever. The rendering does look pretty, the rendering and just like the overall look of it um, does look really, really nice. But on top of that, it's a vehicle, which is obviously probably going to give it the FE tag, but more vehicles for potential VVverse, that kind of stuff. But on top of that, like Triumph, I actually had to look it up, but like Triumph is actually like a pretty big like motorcycle company. Uh, they've been around since like literally 1902. Uh, it sounds like they were either acquired or like they maybe restarted their, their business or something like that in like 1983. I, again, I haven't done a ton of research on it, but I mostly got this uh, from Rob stuff. And I even texted one of my friends who's kind of like into bikes and stuff. Um, I talked to him about like, hey, like, what does Triumph mean to like motorcyclists? He's like, dude, Triumph is like a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big like name brand thing for motorcyclists. And if this is going to be the first ever officially licensed like Triumph motorcycle on the blockchain, whether it's Ethereum or whatever it is, uh, that could be a big deal in and of itself. So I'm more interested in just kind of like the Triumph like tag that's in the bottom right than the actual like 007 no time to die kind of thing so um again is that niche probably but i do think that could give it some additional value that like, might not be recognized so a little bit uh down the road but like kind of just looking at some of the more more of the memes on here again people are asking the bees in this the aston martin um db5 with some modifications i think this is what everyone's looking for including spy watches cool glasses maybe uh the classic gun that the um this james bond has been using in the past and stuff so yeah I i'm probably a little bit more bullish on the bike obviously in the schematics i think most people are and i think it is the fact that it is it officially um like 
licensed thing by Triumph and it's it's on Triumph official and Triumph bikes are a pretty big deal, at least like in the motorcycle community, um, it could carry some weight in and of itself. So I do think it, it might perform a bit better than some people realize. Because to be honest, I was going to completely just sign this off and just be like, whatever, it's a motorcycle, who cares? The glider didn't perform that well. This probably won't do uh, as well. So I'm not saying this will do amazing. It's not going to it's like I, we still don't even have the medium article yet it should come out later today i'm not going to wait around for another three four hours for the medium article i figured i'd just get the video out but just something to kind of note that the triumph is is a pretty big deal in like the motorcycle community and it shouldn't be something that should just be kind of glanced over so it might hold a little bit more weight maybe for 007 all it means is that it's not going to immediately sell for box price within the first couple days maybe it'll actually hold its value and go up from there so uh yeah overall 007 drops not too bullish about it it is what it is i think more people are just waiting towards the end of the month because we do have um hopefully some more planned drops vv has said multiple times about hey like february isn't over there's a lot of black history month possibly themed stuff that could be coming out and uh, i still think even though um, Alex kind of wrote off the whole chili pepper thing. I still think he knows that there's going to be more drops coming towards the end of the month, even though this month is a bit uh, slower that the, towards the end of the month, things could pick up and get pretty interesting. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you guys have any other questions or how do you guys feel about the 007 drops in general, if you guys knew about Triumph, let me know about that down as well in the comments below. So yeah, hope you guys take care and I'll catch you on the flip side.